Hello, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. It's me, a Proustian. Where the heck am I? Oh yeah, I'm at the tower. Um, and now I've got like a downed ship that I could conceivably explore for plot, but Canid's Cradle. Oh my god. How many Vonnegut jokes are gonna be in this game? I wonder. How many have I missed? Because I'm definitely not an expert. In any case, um, I know I had stuff that I have to do in Cascadia, which I assume is ish. Um, so I think I'm going to, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to go talk to Phineas. That's what I'm going to do first. Then after I deal with that, I'll come back and go to Cascadia. Alright. Oh, Cap. and... Oh, yes, I did. Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. Oh, dear. Alright. Uh, let me drop some stuff off in my bins. You know, at some point, I could conceivably, like... Um sell some of this or use some of it and I'm just like Meh. I don't really need the bits or the stuff so I'm just gonna keep it's not as good as that dumping stuff into these until it tells me I can't go see what Felix and the vicar are talking about. Hi Barbati. Oh, workbench. Okay, good. I must have repaired those more recently than I was thinking. Sometimes I forget since it's a day or two in between when I play. Young Millstone, you look pensive. I don't know what that means, but I've been thinking. It ain't easy carrying a torch for the Rangers. <laughs> I understand. The Rangers' victories are your victories. Their defeats are likewise crushing. You serious? Wow, Max. Never expected you'd understand. This may come as a surprise to you, Felix, but I understand what it is to be a fan. That's so. You know something? Maybe I was wrong about you. To be a fan is to live vicariously through another. You feel you are one with the Rangers. You ain't been the same ever since your drug swing, Max. I have 100% seen that conversation before, but I can't remember if it was in, during my lost episode where, you know, I, um couldn't record things so I don't know if you guys have seen that conversation before so there you go so far Max really is as chill as he uh, uh just stretching your legs boss yep as he kind of wants to be I wonder if I have any new messages doesn't look like it okay Okay, time to go talk to Phineas again. Uh, 
actually Welcome don't talk back, to you Captain. first. How can I be of assistance? Well, I wanted to see if okay, so nothing nothing. Goodbye. Cool. All the way back here. I better see this lab. Let's go. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Sorry, Ada, I was literally not paying attention. I was like, oh, it's going to be a transition. I will hop on Twitter. Good luck, Captain. Thanks, Ada. Who do I want to go take, talk to Phineas? Um, yeah, I want to see how Vicar Max handles this now that he's chilled out. Negotiate with Sprats for territory. Oh my god. Auntie Cleo's something factory. Okay. So he took over an anti-cleo facility. I hadn't even realized that before. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Hmm. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and I... stealing those chemicals. I'm what? What? <laughs> Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to hmm. steal as much as you possibly can. The more, hmm. the better. Hmm. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists, and then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Oh, I'm much better at bullets Carmen than subterfuge. Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Okay. Something about being discontinued due to severe adverse reactions. It's fine. You'll <laughs> be stealing the chemicals, not ingesting them. That's what you think. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Of course, of course. I don't, What's on your mind? I don't actually know if there is. Let's find out. Eh. Nah. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, Sissy Pig. You're the one with the name Bubbles! Hi, Bubbles. Long time no see. How's it going? You seem to be in good health. Okay. Alright, alright. Let's, uh... 
not do anything at all about this for a while because that is plot in a new planet and I am going back to Monarch. Lots to do there still. Mm -hmm. Okay. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. So, Did you notice how our crew's a lot like that crime family from the Mass oh Marketeer? What's that make the vicar? Max? I was thinking maybe one of the butlers. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely gonna tell him. <laughs> yeah, don't expect Ellie to keep your secrets when there's something that she can find amusing. All right. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Yep. We sure have. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Okay. Alright, back to Monarch. There are lots of places I have not been yet, I'm realizing. And like this has this lock on it. These I just can't access and I wonder what the difference is. Huh. Like, can I actually explore it? Whatever, I'm monarch at the moment. This is my focus. Um. Yeah, sure, let's go to Fulbrook. I don't want to land at Cascadia. I want to walk Galbrook, Captain. Cascadia. <gasps> okay, Max, you're out. But you know what? I think I'll take Neoka and Parvati. Because I know I've got a thing for Parvati and Cascadia. But... I should maybe give her better gear. Okay, let me do that. I'm a little concerned about Parvati's helmet. Oh no, she's fine. Eh, uh, that's okay. Oh my god, it's huge. I hate it. Ugh. Why does all the armor stuff have to be so terrible? You know, was there anything else I needed to do in Fallbrook? I don't think so. Um, this is Cascadia. This is Cascadia. This might be closer than Cascadia. Yeah, let's do this as the next thing. Okay, but I don't think I need to do anything here specifically. Isn't this my house? It's my new house. Hello house. My own personal workbench. Place I could put things if I ever wanted to. It's a nice house, guys. Alright, well, let's go. I do really like Fallbrook. I guess I'm gonna have a house somewhere. This is a good place to have one. I just realized I'm a big dork and I probably could have fast traveled somewhere closer to where I'm going. Um, huh, though, which spot would I want to go to? Maybe even 
here. I know there's dangerous stuff on the road here, but I don't think it's anything I can't handle. Alright. Okay. So we're still pretty far away. I'm gonna go this way. And I am like confident that there's... Am I going the right way? I was like, I'm confident. Well, I'm not confident I'm going the right way. Okay, good. I was like, I feel like there's gonna be some big ol' things. Down here, yup. Well, you're not big, but... Oh. So we're gonna take this nice and easy so that I don't like turn around a corner and there's a manta queen. Oh, scientists, huh? I rip my head off. I, there was a second manta pillar. I did not shoot scientists. I know the difference between scientists and manta pillars. Whoa! Holy cow. Okay, so something's mad over there. Let's see. Yeah, see? We're job team good teamwork okay oh here was the other man's pillar ha I knew it all right you know what I have to admit as, oops as fun as the gloop gun is and it's honestly pretty fun uh, I prefer oops, running around with the stun ray the air the shrink ray because it's smaller um this thing is so big <laughs> and unwieldy. Uh, I guess for better or worse, oh geez. They do a good job in this game of making kind of some of those guns like have a real heft to them. Um <clears throat> Which I think is pretty impressive. I think it has to, must have to do with the slowness of, of the gun, like stowing it and bringing it out and everything that makes it feel heftier. Um, oh yeah. Which is cool, but also honestly a little annoying to actually play with. Um, and, and the shrink ray is really fun anyways, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, how do I go down from here, though? Oh, I got off the road. Although, I want to go that way, but there's, like, hill. Okay, so I do need to go back. This way. I see, I got sidetracked by loot. I'm sure you're shocked. I'm sure everybody's shocked never get sidetracked by loot. Except every time. Okay. Oh. Y'all see that, right? We take you. I just sniped the... Right way. go see team fucking work love it okay you you come on Give me this stuff. Yes, 
I am not above looting dead bodies out of a field of bones, apparently. I hear more terrible things coming from kind of that way where, um, you know, where I'm headed. huge delay after I swap weapons before I can shoot. It's bigger than I think it's going to be. This is fun, isn't it? Nice <laughs> views, a little exercise and fresh air. Well, in sulfury, spory air. <laughs> it is a trek, isn't it? Almost like we don't have working lifts or roads. I love you, Parvati, so much. She's just so positive. Ugh. It's pretty fantastic. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, we're definitely off-road for this part. I'm ready for this! Come here, my lady. Oh, you're tiny. Okay. Oh, I'm a little bit on fire. Plasma and whatever. It'll be fine. My health is like going back up because I'm recovering. Going back down because I'm on fire. <laughs> It's funny, I'm not much of a sniper. Right. Oh. Let's clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. Can do. I'm not much of a sniper in Destiny, which is my main first person shooter. But like in this game, I'm so bad at the melee and close range stuff, I really like having the distance. Go. Everybody, easy peasy. Colossus. Neat, I guess. Alright. This is an interesting area. Oh, hello. Buried near the surface of Hayes' grave is a small lockbox. Its hinges rusted through and its wood almost completely rotted. It nearly falls apart in your hands, but you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the names Charon. Huh. Though, uh, through tooth marks and the gradual wearing away of sulfide, you can barely make out an epitaph carved into the tombstone's face. God himself eaten. Or got himself eaten doing the right thing. Oh. Hey, Nioka. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, 
it's him. Tell, uh, sounds good. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. Hmm. I mean, it does sound like that, but I'm not sure I want to say that. I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. Oh. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Oh, oh come Yoka. on. Let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Can do. Okay, well, I could trek back, but I'm just going to fast travel. Can I fast travel inside? Yes. Alright. Let's see if I remember where to go to find this guy. Luckily... Oh, there's that marker. But there's like a elevator somewhere. Oh yeah, it's through here, I think. Did I? I did. Just checking. Hiram, you gotta clean up these corpses, man. They're gonna stink. There is no elevator here. Where the hell do I find? Oh, okay. Stairs. That's good. I really do not remember. Okay, this is promising. Seriously, dude. It's it's right there. You're just gonna leave it? Oh, goodness. So much for peace and quiet. Would it kill the universe to cut me some slack? And I don't see an insta-coffee in your hand. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. <laughs> I'd that normally entertain thought. your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Indeed. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? I'd be looking you I'll have do what some. I can, all right? Thank you, Hiram. Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wadsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to shit, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. Uh -oh. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. See, he does care. Also, yes, the one well. that crashed. I saw it on the security feed. A bit grainy, but an invigorating watch all the same. What about it? The board has a blockade of gunships that patrol Monarch. Not a ton, mind you, just enough to deter the masses. I am curious as to what downed it. A faulty part wouldn't be wholly unusual. The supply for new mechanicals is tight. Ugh, now I'll never sleep. Unsolved <laughs> puzzles really torque my sprockets. If you find out what happened, sell me the info. Happy to. I fear it's a sad day when you've resorted to asking me for advice. <laughs> yeah, Sanjar is about as deadly as a spilled can of lead paint. If anyone's to aim a cannon at my face, I'd prefer it be him. But he'd never have the guts to defend Monarch if it came down to it. Graham mm. is as likely to bomb Monarch as he is to protect it, down to the last dying man, woman, and sister pig. As I'm not the one with access to the artillery cannon, I reckon the decision's ultimately up to you. <laughs> Interesting. Oh no, that's interesting. Me? I'd end up blasting myself from the face of the planet, trying to disengage the target lock on the bloody thing. Thank you, but no. 
Is this bonding? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure I like it. Hiram might be Next, my new favorite. Next, you'll be asking me how I got the scar on my chin when I was 11. I don't know. How did you get... Oh, shit. Most of it's underneath along my jaw, but yes, it seems to have faded with time. <laughs> Moral of the story is, never run with scissors. All right. That's, that's enough. Okay. I'm getting a headache behind my left temple. What could be causing it? The glare from the terminal screen? Or something else? Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. <laughs> of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. Oh. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. Ask me what you will. Huh. Huh, can I ask all of these things? Start Not here. much, admittedly. Hmm. I do know this much. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I mean, I'd believe I'm not it. convinced as to the validity of these allegations, considering the source. But I am also not unconvinced either. Yeah. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. Okay, good. So I can't ask about other things. There are so many members. Do specify. If you try to cite me on this, I will <laughs> deny, deny, deny. Do you understand? What I am about to reveal is the sort of information that gets a body disappeared. I get it for free? MSI's also. ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the board to grant them such status. Hmm. Exactly. But you didn't hear so much as a whisper of such from me. Hmm. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. They are a curious lot. Insufferable. And short-sighted, too. What else do you wish to know? Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat-drenched and screaming. I would assume it stems from the friends and family he lost in Amber Heights all those years ago. Mm-hmm. Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance reviews. But he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be reinstated. Not in his lifetime. <laughs> for Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. Oh. Indeed, the huh. information I gather usually is, or it's not worth my time investment, as you can imagine. Huh. You mean between MSI, the Iconoclasts, and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. No. Back when the colony was still Terra-1 and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. Hmm. Precisely. Without me, they never would have done more than play revolution in hushed whispers over scuzzy kale ales in the tavern. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle. That he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally... ...gray. Hmm. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Hmm. <laughs> Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. Oh. How low you seemingly regard my trade. 
Business is good on account of you, and hard work deserves a return on investment. Oh. Uh, no, so I hit the members. wrong button. Do specify. No, I didn't mean... Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. Yes, yes. Can I just walk away from this, uh... How low you seemingly regard my trade. Now. There we Give go. Give my regards to Phineas. Yep, will do. Okay. So, oh, thank you, Hiram. Um, let's see here. Did I look at this before? Yes, I did. And it was like, begin broadcasting, and I'm pretty sure if I did, Hiram would like murder me. Great work. But I will do that. Okay. Um, let's see here. What else? What else? Hmm. Oh no. Emerald Vale. Edgewater. Oh, I feel so bad about Edgewater. Okay. 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 I cannot fast roll. Oh, okay. Well, I will leave. Where was that door? Oh, it was through here. All right, I am actually going to go ahead and stop here for the day. And then um, next time I will continue on towards Cascadia, I think. I want to go ahead and do that. So catch you all next time.